Today I'm going out on a limb trying to predict how Colombia is going to be like after the current situation. So after people have sold their houses, lost their businesses and hopefully recovered here in Colombia. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam and at How to Expat we help expats relocate. And if you haven't lived under a rock you of course know that we are in strange times and a lot of people lost their livelihood, they lost their jobs, they lost, lost their houses and homes. And that's of course the same thing here in Colombia, most probably even a little bit harder because we had one of the longest quarantine in the world. So today I want to try to elaborate how I think Colombia will bounce back or if it actually will bounce back. So let's go right into the video. I have here my list with a couple of points I want to mention. So first of all, how, it, when will life get back to more or less normal? So normal I would say is when maybe the new normal will be where we still have to wear the mask but where we still can do whatever we want. So the public transport goes back to normal to 100% efficiency and everything can open up. So no matter if you're like a big event or whatnot, that still can open or that will open up. So I think in Colombia that could be uh, could very well be in on August 2021. Why do I think that way? Because then will be the next Feria de las Flores in, in Medellin, which is most probably one of the biggest international events that Colombia has in, yeah, in the whole uh, country of Colombia. And I could really very well see that this will be kind of the last thing that then will open up and this uh, that this will be the, uh, the the biggest event we'll have to get permission and after that I could really very well see that everything opened up again so for in my opinion my personal opinion that could be uh, around August 2021 then the next point I have about real estate and of course I know a little bit about real estate here in in Colombia especially Medellin I've been in tons of apartments and everything but I think it's best if we ask our friend and a trusted real estate agent Juan Camilo. So let's ask him. Thanks for contacting me to talk about this. Um, yeah, regarding of the on the um, COVID on the real estate market, I can tell you that it looks like the demand has been increasing because some people with some savings or having savings has come out to put the money on the safest investment as possible, which is real estate market in Colombia. So people think that it's a very stable investment. So they took out the money from other investments and they are putting in real estate. So it looks like the demand has been increasing. And if the offer has increased because there are some other people that have uh, very serious cash flow problems and they need to sell, so the prices stay very stable. I have been speaking with a couple of appraisers and they said that they are keeping the prices as they were. And actually the market right now is very active. If you talk with a very good agent, they can tell you that we are working a lot. What is happening is um, there is a lot of people, especially that people were coming from the entertainment business, restaurant business, and movie theaters, and transportation, these people is living on their savings. So if the economy doesn't start again from now, early September, up to December, by January or February, we're going to see some drop in the prices, maybe 20% at least the next year. Well, so that's what I think in the market. Let's keep in touch. I can tell you some updates. How's the market is developing by November, December, and we can talk again. Thank you and have a great day. So thanks Juan Camilo. This was really great. I think a lot of great insider tips as he's one of the people having the, their finger on the pulse on, of the market. So that's quite good. I also would say most probably all around the world as I see the investment kind of world uh, that the time for real estate investment will be probably a couple of months down the road and not right now where everybody's kind of moving around in an investment type of, of kind of plan if you have that. Then the next thing of course is tourism. So my, you might want to invest or open up a business here, a tourism business here in Colombia or you might want to take advantage of offerings usually that uh, tourism businesses have. 
and you might be interested in what tourism will look like in the next future. So how I kind of see it, I saw a lot of people leave Colombia, so especially foreigners that had tourism businesses, which is a quite a large portion of who holds tourism businesses here in Colombia. A lot of them are managed by foreigners. So a lot of them have left the country, closed down their business and I will say this is surely an impact in the tourism business that will not re that Colombia will not recover as easily as it was before. Of course there's still a lot of companies around that uh, offer services and I don't think like a lot of tourists will flock in in the next couple of months. So I think it will kind of be a natural grow up when people come here, open up businesses and, and all of that. So if you're thinking about opening up a tourism business that might be the right place especially now that a lot of people have left and especially because of course a lot of um, let's say apartments or a lot of these office spaces rather are uh, for rent and I think prices there are lower than they were before. Then the next thing of course is just one thing I want to mention that I've seen a lot of people downgrade their lifestyle or their quality of life at the moment because they hadn't had any income. So we had a couple of friends and people we know that moved in uh, apartments that are more inexpensive. So that's surely a kind of an indicator what's going to happen in the next couple of months and years so that people downgraded already. And then the normal businesses, I have to say, we have a, a lot of friends that have businesses that have nothing to do with foreigners or tourists or anything. And actually there is crazy, like the tour or the business they had or they're still having was running very, very well during the, the whole quarantine time, which is kind of weird because you would think that the buying power of people is not as much. But actually what kind of reality shows that not a lot of people were affected. Um, we have a friend, for example, that has an e-commerce business, so he sells kind of uh, um, yeah, different stuff from all around the world that he imports from China here. And he has uh, been doing very, very well. Another friend that we have, he's, um, he has a sticker business. He has been doing very, very well. So I think that comes from also from that a lot of people are not in debt here. So um, like the banks and, and kind of making debt to sustain a business is not really too much of a thing here, especially for all the smaller business owners that don't even have that a lot, maybe in their families or anything, but not with the bank. So I think that comes a little bit from that. So the economy here is way, way different, especially here in Medellin. So I think that's a real factor that most of or many, many businesses that are not affected with kind of the very complicated structure in their financing have been doing very, very well, actually. So yes, as I can see in my list, this is pretty much it. Uh, maybe that gives you kind of a, a view how Colombia could be like. Of course, this is, as I said, I'm just trying to predict what's going on. Who knows if that will actually take place, but that's kind of the, the view I have about how Colombia will bounce back. I'm sure it will bounce back and I've seen, and as I've seen in most or many, many places here in Colombia, haven't been so affected with, with the quarantine as I would have thought in the beginning. So yeah, I hope this video helped. If you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.